We play Caribbean <laughs> Queen yes. uh, this morning. It is time for Westside Auto Pro with Joe, the other car guy Shoo. this morning. Thank you so much for joining us on a great day. You bet. With some great advice on our breaks. Yes. Ron's New Year's resolution was to look younger on TV, so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> and better. Wow. You look Love amazing. It. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> We're talking anyway, yeah. today, so we, we are, are, we are not putting the brakes on this show, folks. We're getting in the fast lane to talk about brakes. Well, yes. this time of year it gets slippery. You need your brakes. Exactly. Uh, the biggest thing on brakes are if you call five different places, you will get five different prices. Why? Yeah. And they are going to be on way extremes. Okay. I mean, you're going to get the guy that does the $99 brake special that you see on TV. Okay. Then somebody's going to quote you 900 bucks and they're automatically going to be wrong because you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> right. No one, right. No one so they're automatically like disqualified. Um, but the reason is, is A, they don't know what you need. They're sure. guessing. Or worse, you're guessing at what you need because you hear a squeak and so I need brake pads. So you're just saying a word breaks and they're just throwing you a number without really knowing. Yep, exactly. You've got to get it up on the thing, yep. right? Exactly. And it's I will say, a personal a testimonial, I, I had this happen, squeaky uh, rotors or whatever, and mm -hmm. I brought them into you guys and you said, nope, nope, they're okay. So yeah, I spent zero dollars. Exactly. And, and that can happen where there's things that contribute to brake noise that you may have perfectly safe brakes and need nothing or need very, very minimal hmm. to take care of that issue. Um, so the, the biggest thing is, is to make sure what quality parts are being used. Um, I brought an example of brake pads. I could have brought 27 different examples, but I didn't feel like carrying it this early in the morning. So, <laughs> so yeah, so show us what a, a, a brake pad. A brake pad, looks and like. you could be anywhere from $10 for a brake pad to $90 for a brake pad. This brake pad would fall on the $10 scale. Ah. <laughs> All right, so again, uh, let's let's look at the geography of where this would live. I'm a tire, so like if you were there, so it goes tire and then caliper and the brake pad. Correct. Where, where does it the fit? caliper is the squeezing mechanism. It squeezes the pad when you, onto When the you step on the brake pedal, okay. it grabs it, and so that's, that's what stops your car. So that's the only thing that's stopping my car? That's the only thing that's stopping Yeah, this little guy car. right here, and when these pads wear down, yeah. no way no. wind. Yeah, friction is what this does. And and it's squeezing on, that's called the rotor? That's called the rotor, The yes. little shiny disc yes. is the rotor. Yep. And the challenge is, once this wears down, it goes, gets into the rotor. Exactly. So what you want to do is you want to change these before it does that. Right, yep, because that automatically is going to make your bill go up. But well, I, you're pretty I, good that I knew that. But, but if I, you're I'm rocking it, I'm going home. That. But <laughs> I, I'm a little scared that a $10 piece, that $10 piece of equipment is stopping my Correct. car. And, and I would avoid the $10 piece like the plague. The reason is, is A, this is made out of, this one happens to be an organic brake material, meaning... What? Oh. Oh, it's gonna make your wheels dirty yeah, as hell. you're gonna end up with black wheels. Um, the quality of pad, the, this is a noise dampening deal. It's probably made out of a Mountain Dew can that my kid colored with Sharpie. <laughs> um, I mean, well, we just, gotta keep them busy. Yeah, there's just not a lot of quality built into this pad. And there's no, there's no guideline for it. There's nobody that what? monitors that. This of all the things on a car, no one's checking to make sure this, these are good? No, this brake pad will stop your car. It may stop it for 10,000 miles. It may stop it for 30,000 miles. It will stop your car. Yeah. It's probably even got an okay warranty on it that'll cover this brake pad. For 10 But bucks. you're going to keep paying labor and labor and labor and labor. Okay. So when you hear, uh, let's say, a $99 brake job, you're yeah. probably getting materials like that. Yeah, when XYZ brake is doing a $99 brake special, all that, the 27 lines of fine print at the bottom, mm. it's going to be for lack of a better term, the cheapest brake pad out there. It's not going to include machining your rotors or, or anything. And you'd it, want it's to machine be them pads. in case they're, the rotors get warped? Yeah, okay. yep, you can definitely end up with noise. Um, a warped rotor is going to cause vibration. Yeah. If they don't even measure the rotor, a rotor does have a guideline for it's too thin to even be touched, throw it in the trash. Okay. And, and if they don't do that, they're doing you a disservice as well. Right. All right so what's so a, a good one? A, bro a better brake pad. Okay. This is all one kit. These come with, these are called anti-rattle clips. Okay. These actually set on where the caliper mounts to the bracket. We have some of those on our transmitter. Yeah. Very similar, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the brake pad actually sets in. And the reason it's important to change these is if you've got a, a 
five, six, seven year old car that's been exposed to outside elements, mm -hmm. these are probably going to be rusted. Okay. They're going to be distorted at best. Okay. Um, there's absolutely no protective coating left on them because this brake pad, I'm going to do it backwards, but it rides in here. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and then on the brake pads themselves, this one you can visibly see that there's a different material on it. I don't right. know how well it shows up on TV. Um, there's going to be some brake dust, but it's very, very it's minimal. It's, like a st one. it's a stone? This is made out of ceramic. Okay. I had no idea. I actually thought yeah. it was a pad. I didn't think yep. it was a chunk of stone. Yeah. This is actually a ceramic brake pad. They're very low dust. They're low <laughs> noise. So you like ceramic? Yeah. Definitely from a quality standpoint. So I can walk into, now of course I'm going to you guys, but say I'm in a different city or someone out there, they could say ceramic. Ceramic's the way to go. It, ceramic is definitely the way to go. There's some heavy duty applications that somebody may steer you in a different direction if you have a large one-ton truck or something okay. like that. And, and they're not wrong okay. to, to do that by any means. Ceramic so what's the price. price difference from our $10 job to that guy? The This one, it really is, I mean, it's it's a $10 to $15 brake pad. Um, this one's going to be in the $90 to $100 range depending on what type of vehicle you have. Okay. Um, and again, the price is all going to depend on somebody doing a, an inspection that's quality. That's the first place to start. And, and lifetime on the good guys, how long are you looking at? If you put it in, if put it in right, how long would it last? It, it all, that is going to depend. That's a good question. It's because driver style. It's driver it? style. We have people that show up with 100,000 miles on their car and they say, I've never put brakes on it, and they still look okay. Because they're, they're just nice and slow. Yeah, or, or they drove 100,000 miles at 70 miles an hour down the interstate. Right. Uh, there was minimal sure. braking. Yeah, sure. not a lot um, And then you've got guys that every 15,000 miles, they're in there even on the good pads because all they do is drive, you know, half a mile to work and there's 37 stop and go, stop, stop signs. Stop in Los Angeles, <laughs> right. I was going through brake pads like crazy. Yeah. I was going through them and I'm like, I feel like I just changed these. He goes, well, look, and we just point them. <laughs> You're driving in that 30 feet at a time. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, go, stop going. Well, we were talking about noise, but what are some other things? we should probably look or listen for if we're needing to check out our brakes. Noise is the biggest thing. Okay. Um, it, it, that's the one that would point you more towards at least, hey, I need to get it looked at because there's nothing really, you, you can't look through a wheel necessarily and see right. it unless it's too far gone. The other thing would be is if, and most of us have probably encountered this, if you're driving down the highway at 60 miles an hour and you hit the off ramp, and you step on the brakes and the front wheel's going like this. Yeah, you feel that vibration. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's an indication of, it, possibly a, a warped brake rotor. There's other things that can cause it, but that's at okay. least something, you know, that triggers you to say, ah, I better at least get this looked at. Looked right. at. And that's kind of the big thing we're saying this morning. If you think you have an issue, have it checked out. Just don't assume yeah. Yeah, exactly. that you need all new brakes or something. You know, we have people that, that bring in their vehicles that they say, you know, the first three or four times when I back out of the driveway in the morning, it makes noise. And that's normal because moisture is going to get on that friction material because when you park your car at night, it's going to be warm. It's going right. to cool down and there's going to be condensation. And, and then you have people that say, oh, it just started grinding and there's, I wish I had a picture of it, but, <laughs> you know, the pad's gone, the rotor is like down to the, the right. vents and, right. yeah. Metal on metal is never a, a Yeah, a, a metal on metal is not the idea here. <laughs> Usually a good thing. So how easy it or how hard is it if people are just like, I need something checked out for the, to head over to Westside Auto Pros and just have a glance of what's going on underneath the car? We do everything by appointment on it, but it is something that, brakes are a safety item obviously that's what stops your car so we're going to make sure if you have an issue that we get it in and get it looked at very okay. quickly wonderful and if people want to get in touch with you guys what's the best way to do so uh, they can find us at westsideautopros.com or they can call us at 225-9090 and we are just off of Swanson and Clive but I just want to say you're saying that you can extend the life of your brake pad especially in traffic like here in Iowa by just easing down on your brake pedal yeah exactly the we laugh that if somebody's always on one of the pedals if they're either on the accelerator <laughs> or on the brake <laughs> that is the worst thing possible on your car and if it's both it's really bad yeah leave, leave some distance and avoid a body shop too <laughs> love it there's Good. some great advice for you we also want to remind you that the boss is out of town Town. So we're doing you ours? a service. Huh? No, not ours. Uh. Uh, Ron, the car guy. Uh, he's out of town for the month. So guess what? Joe, the car guy, is being nice enough to extend our great day deal even longer. If it's Keep past it the holidays and you want to 
to get that great day deal of two premium wiper blades and aquapel treatment for only $23. Remember, there is a rebate, so it's even going to be less than that. Wow. Beam blades for only $10 more, but there's also a rebate on that, so it, it evens out. We originally said January 10th. We're going to extend that even longer for you because, as we said, the boss is out of town. That's right. Sorry, Ron. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Joe, Hopefully he's so on a plane much. somewhere and didn't yeah, hear anything. Hopefully he's, you know, not watching this on the internet or anything. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Joe, uh, for coming in from Westside Auto Pros. Make sure you check out your brakes and be safe in those vehicles, folks. We'll be right back with more on Great Day right here on KCWI.